Marco Moonwalker. I was in the house one morning when I heard the sound of mum's trombone coming from the garage. I went outside and sat on the back step and listened. She was playing a tune I hadn't heard before. It was hard to describe, kind of sad and lonely but beautiful too. The sort of tune that gets into your head and stays there. She didn't stop playing even when I turned the door handle which was loose and made a lot of noise. I opened the door a little, stuck my head through the gap and couldn't believe what I saw. Marco was sitting in the far corner playing Mum's trombone. He had his eyes shut and a sort of faraway look on his face. It was the same expression that he wore whenever he was thinking about his old home in the Rockies. I closed the door and tiptoed out again. A little while later Marco came into the kitchen to make himself a cup of tea. Marco! Patrick, what was that tune you were playing on Mum's trombone? He nearly dropped the teapot he was holding. Don't tell your mum I was playing her trombone. She be mad. Mum never got mad. At me or at Marco. Especially at Marco. She thought Marco could do no wrong. I didn't know you could play the trombone, I said. Did they teach you how to play it in the zoo? Oh, they didn't teach me anything in that place. There was a tune in my head. The trombone was on the shelf, so I played it. You played a tune that was in your head on a trombone that you never learned to play? Marco, you're a genius. I am. A true genius. That probably means you can play any instrument. Ah, I don't think so. The music that was in my head was a trombone sound. Don't you hear any other instruments in your head? I had a tune in my head yesterday that wasn't a trombone sound. What was it? A banjo, I think. <clears throat> Are you sure it was a banjo? He closed his eyes for a long moment. I could tell he was playing the tune in his head. Definitely a banjo, he said. Jamie's dad has a banjo, I said. He lives just down the road. I'll ask if I can borrow it. Ten minutes later, we were both back in the garage and I had a banjo in my hand. Here, have a go. He took the banjo from me. It was tiny in his big paws. I'd rather you didn't watch, he said. It makes me nervous if you're watching. I went and sat on the concrete step and gazed across the garden. Moments later, I heard some strumming. Soft strumming, then hard strumming. He was trying out the different sounds. The strumming changed to plucking. The chords changed too. I was listening to a grizzly bear learning how to play the banjo all by himself with no music book, no teacher, without ever having held a banjo in his life. Half an hour passed. I watched the sun go in and out of the clouds that were rushing across the sky as if they were late for work. With every minute, Marco was getting better and better. I could just make out a tune. Is that the tune that's inside your head? I called back into the garage without turning around. That's the one. I need a good bit of practice. The banjo is trickier than the trombone. All through the day, I could hear him practicing. He was still at it when I went to bed at ten. By tea time the following day, anyone calling to the house would have thought that the world's greatest living banjo player was playing for free in our garage. Listening to him play, an idea came to me. It was a crazy idea, but those were the ones that I liked best. I wasn't very good at lots of things, apart from making a nice cup of tea, but I was the world's best at coming up with crazy ideas. We'd have to disguise him, of course. The duffel coat with the enormous hood that he wore the night he escaped from the zoo was just about big enough to cover his body, but it wouldn't be long enough for what I had in mind. Mum would have to make supersized black pants with wide legs that went right down to the ground, covering his big hairy feet. If we went ahead with my crazy idea, we'd be out a lot, and there'd be loads of people looking at us, especially at our huge, amazing-looking trombone banjo player. We'd have to have a name. It came to me straight away, the three M's, from Marco, Mum and me. I liked the sound of the three M's, short and catchy. All this was going through my head as I lay in bed that night listening to Marco playing the banjo and the trombone in the garage. It was still going through my head when I came home from school the next day. 
Margot had stopped playing by then and was back in his usual place on the sofa in front of the TV. He was watching a Michael Jackson DVD. Michael Jackson, he said, as I sat down beside him. What about him? He was strange. Oh, strange but brilliant. I loved the way he danced. I've been trying it out. Watch. He paused the TV, then stood up and did his own version of the moonwalk, the grizzly bear moonwalk across the living room carpet. It was, e it was hilarious, easily the funniest thing I'd ever seen. He made me laugh so hard, I thought I was going to burst, I really did, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't even tell him to stop. What's so funny, he said, stopping at last. It took me a minute to get my breath back. Oh, if Michael Jackson saw that, he'd probably die a second time. That was priceless, Marco. He sat back down and we watched the rest of the Michael Jackson DVD. He concentrated really hard, trying to see exactly how Michael did the moves. One day I'll be able to dance like that, he said. I decided that now was as good a time as any to break the news. I'm forming a band. You, Mum, me. We'll be known as the Three M's. Marco had a funny way of smiling. Unless you knew him, you wouldn't be able to tell if he was smiling or if he was angry. His mouth didn't move, but the fur around it did just a teeny bit, enough that you'd notice. His nose twitched a few times and his eyes got a little brighter. And what will you be doing in this band of ours, he said. I don't know yet. I might learn to play the guitar and percussion, definitely percussion, the drums, timbales, maracas, spoons and forks. Spoons and forks? I thought you used spoons and forks to eat. And you can bang them together and make a cool sound too. If you ask me, it doesn't sound like a great band. Mum will be the lead singer and she'll also play the trombone. You can play the other instruments. What other instruments? I was thinking the elect of the electric violin the piano synthesizer, and maybe the saxophone. If you can learn the trombone and the banjo in a day, you'll be able to play those no problem. Maybe the double bass too.